Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Flute Life with Katie Flute. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. I make quality flute content videos. Yes quality flute content, as well as vlogs, full-length performance videos, and more. I normally upload weekly, but right now I've been uploading every day because of all the free time we've all been blessed with. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss my future videos. So recently I uploaded a video where I show you guys how I make my split screen or multi-screen music videos. And another frequently asked question that I get about video editing is how I add the sheet music to the bottom of my Instagram or YouTube videos. So today I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy process that I do to add in the sheet music to the bottom of my videos and all you're going to need is your computer and iMovie. There are other ways and other software programs you can use to do this but I prefer to use iMovie since I have a MacBook and it's fairly easy to use. So without further ado let's jump right on in and get started. Okay so the first thing I do is I go into iMovie and I create a new project. I already imported my audio and my video into this project so i'm going to open that and i have already synced up the audio from my zoom recorder with the video from my camera as you can see here and i talk about that a bit more in my previous video where i show you how i make my um, multi-screen videos okay so now i'm going to go to this folder and i took screenshots of the music from imslp right here so basically I screenshot one line at a time. This is uh, never this organized. Um, I normally just have them all over my desktop, but I actually put everything in a folder right here that is labeled day 28, Kohler Opus 33, number two. So I could just more easily show you. Um, but for those of you that don't know, what you're gonna wanna do is find the music for the piece. Um, and here on IMSLP, everything's public domain, and you can find most works pretty easily. Um, here's the Kohler Opus 33, and this is the etude. It's actually number three, not number two. Oops. Um, but anyway, so I am going to go in. I already did this, but just to show you, uh, on a MacBook, you press Command Shift 4, and then you can use this little crosshair thing here to select what you want to screenshot. And then you're just gonna go in and repeat that process for all of the lines until you get to the very end. This is going to bother me, I'm gonna change the name. Okay, so Kohler Opus 33, number three. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to import the first screenshot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your screenshots, wherever they are, and you're gonna get the first line and you're going to drop it right over top of the video and audio. And you can see it's zoomed in. That's what it's gonna look like if I don't do anything. So I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna go up here where it says cutaway. These are all the different options and I'm gonna choose picture in picture. And then I'm going to go over here and select fit. You don't want these options. The Ken Burns is the Ken Burns panning effect. The crop to fill is just going to show a small little bit of the screenshot. So you want the fit. And then you're going to go back to this little icon, click there. And then I always turn off the dissolve. I just don't like how it looks when it fades in and out. Um, it's a little more difficult to read if you're reading the music. And then here you can adjust the size of the screenshot. And you can position it anywhere you'd like. Um, for this video, I think I'm going to position it at the top over here because there's a lot of free space. Now, I'm going to just go over here once it's the size I want it, and I'm going to hit the blue check mark. Now I need to make sure that what I'm playing is going to correspond with what you see here. And then right when I get to the end of the measure, I'm going to just go over, trim that by holding down the mouse and just dragging it over. And then I'm going to repeat the process. Now I'm going to get the second uh, line and put it right there. 
same thing double click go to picture in picture click on the crop click on fit go back here put the dissolve on zero and then enlarge the image slightly and position it exactly where I want it to be and then hit the blue check mark and now I'm going to listen and make sure that it's lined up correctly and then I'm just gonna repeat the process go into the screenshot drag the next line Click picture in picture, go to the crop, click on fit, go back here, dissolve on zero, enlarge the image and place it where I want it. Blue check mark and listen. trimming this a bit because um, the music obviously is going forward it's not showing what's on the page and yeah I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have completed the whole thing have it so I've put all of the music in for the entire piece um, it's about a minute long and I'd say it took me about three or four minutes to do the entire thing I've gotten pretty quick at it um, after doing it so much over the years and I also wanted to mention that down here you can enlarge the view basically you can zoom in so if you're doing something that's maybe a lot faster paced or the pages need to turn a lot quicker um, by zooming in here you'll get a more specific view and it will be easier to uh, do something that's a bit more precise and then you can see here that's zoomed all the way out so you can mess around with that and see uh, what works best for you and the piece that you're putting the music for and then when you're done you're gonna just come up here and click on the arrow and you can export the video however you'd like if you want to save it as a file on your computer you click on file um, you can also uh, export it directly to YouTube. I never really choose that option because I like to keep copies of all my videos on my hard drive. So I would select file and then export it. So I hope that tutorial helps you guys out. Please let me know if you have any other questions about my process. If you haven't already, please feel free to go connect with me over on Instagram at Katie Flute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy and I will see you in my next video.